Lewis Hamilton will return to Formula One for the 2022 season and perhaps win his eighth world championship. After the bizarre events of the Formula One 2021 season, Hamilton was left disillusioned that he chose to stay away from social media and speculations that he could retire from Formula One danced around. Well, he is back. And while he has confirmed that himself, his Mercedes team, who previously couldn't ensure if he would continue in 2022, have passed explicit scenarios that he would still be with them. Welcome to Formula One Zone. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell button to confirm and make you stay tuned. During the Mercedes 2022 car launch, Hamilton, alongside George Russell, appeared with the team's boss, which concluded the uncertainty surrounding Hamilton's return that had gone on for months. The Mercedes driver was beaten to the title by rival Max Verstappen as the 2021 season ended in a controversy at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in December. Although Mercedes gave many hints on social media for weeks that Hamilton could return for a 16th season in the sport, the Briton had primarily remained silent. He said, I never said I was going to stop. I love doing what I do. It was a difficult time for me, a time I needed to take a step back. I had my family around me and created great moments. Then I got to a point where I decided to go on the attack again and wanted to work with Toto and George Russell. It's cool to see George come into the team with his energy. I feel that already within the team and look forward to the season. At Abu Dhabi, Hamilton led most of the race and only lost a few laps to the Red Bull team, including Chico Perez and Verstappen. Mercedes, as the team, clearly had won the Constructors' title and was eager to bag the Drivers' Championship as well. While Verstappen simultaneously swapped compounds, Hamilton raced to the finish line with worn-out compounds, which automatically gave Verstappen the edge, running with fresh tires to overtake Hamilton. Verstappen's win was also influenced by a Williams crash that promoted the safety car's deployment. Dragging right behind the safety car, Hamilton had four cars between himself and Verstappen. Heading to the deadline, Red Bull needed some miracle, and while Latifi's crash was crafty, the drivers were held in position by the safety car. Michael Massey afterward chose to let the vehicles between the Red Bull and Mercedes drivers unlap themselves to catch up with the rest. Perez did exactly what he could to secure Verstappen's win on laps 20 to 21, and was dubbed a legend by his teammate as he let him pass to continue the chase before pitting on lap 22. The podium looked certain until he retired on lap 56 under a safety car brought out for a Nicholas Latifi crash. That safety car, during which Verstappen pitted for soft tires, left the race with just one lap of the green flag racing remaining, producing another memorable moment in this epic season. Verstappen made the pass on Hamilton into lap five, the decisive move, and while Hamilton attempted to come back towards turn nine, there was nothing he could do anymore. History was made, as it was always going to be, and the trophy went to the Dutchman for the first time. Although Lewis himself broke his silence and silenced speculations, Mercedes News came after the FIA confirmed that Michael Massey would be replaced as F1's race director next season, after a review into the controversial end to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix the results of which was reportedly crucial to Hamilton's future in the sport. Hamilton said at the launch of the W13, It's surreal, 10 years since coming to the factory. The seat was like when I was here in 2013. How exciting it was, a total privilege. The journey has been phenomenal. I have not set any goals. Every individual works to the ultimate goal of winning a world championship raising the bar, and doing something nobody else has done before. After tweeting, I've been gone, now I'm back, Hamilton got fans talking about him after months of waiting for the Brit to speak on his title loss. As Hamilton and Mercedes geared up for their car launch, they previously provided the media with a handful of Hamilton content. One post features the perennial champion standing with his head bowed, ahead of a backdrop featuring a black and white Union Jack, and it captioned, Year 16, a direct nudge that this season is set to be Hamilton's 16th in Formula One, having started with McLaren in 2007. Hamilton is chasing an eighth world title, 
which would take him ahead of the current joint record holder, Michael Schumacher. Mercedes also posted content featuring the Brits' new teammate and compatriot, George Russell. The 24-year-old appears in a video undergoing a seat fit at Mercedes headquarters. But what got fans' attention was the appearance of Hamilton towards the end of the clip. All Formula One teams will be in Barcelona to test their new cars at an untelevised event. More formal testing will then occur in Bahrain between March 10th and 12th, with fans present and broadcasters able to show the action. And the new season will then get underway at the exact location a week later. While Hamilton and Mercedes seem prepared to go again, the new FIA rules have cleaned the sheets, reverting to a specific page. Mercedes launched their W13 a day after the FIA made the first changes from their inquiry into last season's Abu Dhabi decider, with Michael Massey removed as race director. The team has pledged to move on from the dramatic events that saw Hamilton cruelly beaten by Max Verstappen to the championship. Hamilton was alongside his new British teammate George Russell, 13 years his junior, as Mercedes unveiled their new car and new colors. Reverting to tradition after two years in a black livery, the Silver Arrows are back in silver and teal with a dash of red for 2022, with the revolutionary new rules giving them a fresh challenge in their bid to continue their unprecedented streak of eight constructors' titles. Hamilton's presence at the launch marked his first media interview since leaving the paddock dejected on December 12th. Lewis Hamilton confirmed that it was a difficult time and needed to step back after the season finale in Abu Dhabi. It eventually got to the point where I would be attacking again coming into another season. It is exciting seeing George coming in and seeing his energy. Hamilton, who with Russell has paired as the first British F1 driver lineup since he and Jensen Button at McLaren 10 years ago, said Mercedes has the ultimate goal of the world championship, raising the bar and doing something no one has ever done before. Mercedes became the eighth team to reveal their car for F1's all-new era officially. Because the launch happened right after the FIA decision, the Mercedes boss, Toto Wolff, claims it was good for the driver to take a break from social media to comprehend, digest, and overcome after the disappointment of the 2021 season closing in Abu Dhabi. However, while Wolff praised the right steps and said it's very encouraging to see that action has been taken, he insisted Mazi's removal was not the reason for Hamilton's return in 2022, while also stressing that he never was concerned his star driver was going to leave. Toto Wolf said, I think that adversity has always made him stronger, more resilient, and determined. This is the attitude I feel in him right now and the mindset I see in the team. Last year was only the second time Hamilton had not won a driver's title since 2014 and in devastating and controversial circumstances. George Russell said it's surreal to join his childhood hero Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes, and he's looking forward to an exciting season. He came into the season with renewed energy and replaced Valtteri Bottas after six seasons. Russell, a graduate from the Mercedes driver lineup, has starred at Williams in his first three seasons in the sport. Hamilton said about his teammate, it doesn't change me. I think it's always positive when you have new blood and new energy. George has had an amazing career so far in getting to Formula One and what he's done within Formula One. It's going to be exciting to see him grow and to work with him. I've had him sitting behind me before when we were working away, getting the setup on the race weekend, and now I'll be working opposite from him, collaborating with him and hopefully steering the car in the same direction. I'm excited for that. Do you think Mercedes is capable of a solid battle for the title in the new season? Let us know your answers in the comments box. Also like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.